Hello everyone. Now we look at the next module, module 2, listening. So the first thing you have to remember in this chapter is the difference between listening and hearing. Okay, you have heard both these words. One is listening, you know this word, and the other word is hearing. Okay, but what is the difference between listening and hearing? So I have made a chart here. So based on this chart, you can, you know, this will be like a memory aid for you. You'll be able to understand this better. So let's uh, look at the differences based on these columns that I have made. Okay, so first of all, what is the difference in meaning? Okay, between listening and hearing. Now, if you look at the meaning, hearing refers to one's ability to perceive sounds by receiving vibrations through ears. So if you have a, if, if we have ears and we can listen to vibrations, that means that we have the capacity to hear. Okay, so we say I heard the noise. Alright, so if we have the capacity to hear, if our ears are okay, we say that we heard a noise. Now listening is something done consciously. That's the difference. You can hear something unconsciously, but when you listen, you actually do it pretty consciously. So listening is something that is done consciously that involve analysis and understanding of the sounds that one hears. So hearing is just hearing anything, but listening involves what? Listening involves analysis and understanding of the sounds that one hears. So listening is um, an active process. All right. On the other hand, hearing need not be an active process. Now, what exactly is it? Now, hearing is an ability while listening is a skill. And what is the nature of the activity? All right. What is the nature of hearing and listening? So if you look at the nature of it, Hearing is primary and continuous. We're constantly hearing things while listening is secondary and temporary because we listen for a, for something. We listen with a purpose. We can't always be doing that. So listening is something that is secondary while um, hearing is primary. Now act, it's a physiological thing. Okay, if you have ears and ears are working, we are obviously listening. But um, I mean, sorry, hearing. Listening is also a psychological process. Now, what does it involve? Hearing involves receipt of message through ears. So if you receive message through ears, it, you heard it. Listening, it's an interpretation received. It's an interpretation received by ears. So this is just listening to something. Now, he, um, hearing is just you know just hearing something, but listening means there is a conscious, um, you know, some sort of a conscious activity in it. Now, process. Hearing means passive bodily process, and um, listening means an active process. When does it occur? Hearing is at a subconscious level, listening at a very conscious level. Use of senses, only one sense is used. That is, we use ears, we use ears for hearing, uh, while for listening, we use more than one senses. So, concentration is not required for hearing. So, this part is hearing, okay? So, concentration is not required for listening. Con con uh, concentration is required. So that's the first thing uh, that you have to remember here. Now, what are the kind of things that uh, the textbook tells us? We can have a brief look at it. Hearing being different, listening being different from hearing involves comprehension and interpretation. So that's what we discussed earlier, that listening is a very conscious process. So it requires comprehension and interpretation. While hearing is just a physical process, listening requires focus and effort. All right. Now we looked at all these um, in that um, in those columns that I um, that was prepared earlier. So listening requires focus and effort. To be a good listener, one should also learn to listen with an open mind. Listening can be an active can be active or passive. Active listening is when the listener gets involved consciously in the process. This is done through verbal and non-verbal cues.
non verbal cues include smile posture and eye contact that indicate active participation in the conversation so cue is something that you know you give uh, so that the other you know it's it's kind of an indication cue nu parayunna or indication polana ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ലിസണിങ്ങിൽ വേബിൾ ആൻഡ് നോൺ വേബിൾ ക്യൂസ് ഉണ്ട് ലൈക്ക് കോൺഷ്യസ് ആയിട്ട് വെൻ യു ആർ കോൺഷ്യസ്ലി ടേക്കിംഗ് പാർട്ട് ഇൻ ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് ലിസണിങ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് കോൾ ആക്റ്റീവ് ലിസണിങ് യു നോ യു നോട്ട് യുവർ ഹെഡ് ഇപ്പം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി ക്ലാസ്സിലാണെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി എന്ന് കാണിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി നിങ്ങൾ തല ഒഴുക്കി കാണിക്കും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ദേ മൈ ബി എ റെസ്പോൺസ് യു മൈറ്റ് യു നോ മേക്ക് സർട്ടൺ ഫേഷ്യൽ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻസ് ഓർ യു മൈറ്റ് സീം ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഓൾ ദോസ് തിങ്സ് അതൊക്കെ നോൺ വേബിൾ ക്യൂസ് ആണ് like smile posture eye contact that indicate active participation in the conversation mirroring is yet another method where the listener mirrors the expression of the speaker mirroring nu parayum nu chaa when you are getting very involved in um, the process of listening we start mirroring the speaker the speaker ne expression endano adu nammalum kuda kaanikkan thodangum so active listening nathu endakke undu active less listening is done through verbal and non verbal cues non verbal cues nu parnale smile nammal samsarikkade smile cheya or posture endigil or kaanikya or eye contact undakka adokkana non verbal cues nu parayunnathu verbal signs endakkana positive verbal encouragement yes no paraya remembering details clarifying summarizing asking encouraging questions okay suppose uh, somebody is giving you a very interesting talk you know you, you won't just sit there looking very dejected or unhappy you won't uh, sit there uh, like it doesn't mean much to you you s- you know you kind of show them that you are interested alle enki manasilavunnunda alle english you know this makes a lot of sense ne you show and uh, that is not only through a non uh, not only through non verbal processes but it can also be through verbal processes for instance verbal signs like in the kiana remembering details verbal encouragement cl- clarifying summarizing and asking encouraging questions listening to a lecture in the classroom requires sustained active listening skills from ipam ningal idu kettondirikkana only if you are really you know involved in it will you understand anything it demands from the students a keen interest in the subject discussed basic language skills as well as the ability to absorb and recollect ideas discussed throughout the lecture now conducting interviews is somewhere that you know where a lot of listening skills is required so interviewer or interviewed interviewer na mumbi pombam you know we should be able to listen to what they are saying the interviewer should also be listening to what the uh, candidate is saying so conducting interviews is an interesting task that requires keen listening skills though one can use recording the devices in order to ask relevant and apt questions one has to listen carefully while the interview is being conducted a background knowledge of the nature of the work done by the person being interviewed as well as information on the personality of the interviewee is necessary for eliciting the best response from her okay so if you are interviewing somebody you should actually listen to the person who is uh, sitting there and answering your questions that's also necessary that's also very important appo candidate ne mathramalla ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ നടത്തുന്ന ആൾക്കും ആക്ച്വലി ലിസണിങ് സ്കിൽസ് വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ നൗ വി ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് ബാരിയേഴ്സ് ടു ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് ലിസണിങ് ബാരിയേഴ്സ് ടു കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചത് ഓർമ്മയുണ്ടല്ലോ സോ ഇൻ ദ സെയിം വേ ദർ ആർ ബാരിയേഴ്സ് ടു ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് ലേണിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ബാരിയേഴ്സ് ടു ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് ലിസണിങ് ലിസണർ ക്യാൻ ബി ഈസിലി ഡിസ്ട്രാക്റ്റഡ് സിൻസ് ആർ ബ്രെയിൻ processes information at the rate of 400 to 800 words per minute while our speech rate is between 125 to 175 words per minute see nammal ellarum distracted aagum kaaranam nammada brain ottri words process cheyan kariyulla oru machine aanu so it can process 400 to 800 words per minute but you we can't really talk like that so we can only talk 125 to 175 words per minute so naturally our brain will be looking for other activities there are also other factors for instance if we are not at all interested then definitely we will it will be a barrier to effective listening because we won't be listening at all okay so there can be many barriers to effective lis- listening one um reason is that our brain is really fast and if somebody is just talking very slowly you know taking his his and his own time and just going on and on and on we might not be ready to listen to all of that because we might be getting bored so that's one of the reasons 
Generally, we find it easier to focus when the speaker is fluent in her speech, has a familiar accent and speaks at an approximate, appropriate, appropriate volume depending on the situation. So, that's why we have to say that 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 Moreover, disturbances, physical and emotional, as well as noises can adversely affect our listening skills. Suppose we are just tired, we don't want to listen. Or we have some physical problems, like there's something wrong with the ears. Or we are emotionally upset that we don't want to listen to anybody. And there are many noises, you know, noises like maybe many, many types of disturbances. Hmm? It could be anything. Suppose, um, you know, I'm recording this and then you later listen to it and your um, video is like, very very slow because it's not loading properly because of data problem then it's definitely a barrier to listening because um, then there's so much disturbance so barriers listening or three carrying on the disturbances physical and emotional as well as noises then uh, you know if the person is not speaking properly if she's not fluent or does not have a familiar accent or speaks at an, uh, does not speak at a proper volume then it can all cause problems for us how to enhance listening skills? listening skills enhance common sense questions common sense text common sense listening skills enhance So um, for enhancing listening skills, we can actually maintain eye contact. Ask feedback questions helped in enhanced listening in the context of the conversation. I'm not involved. Our involved. Our manam ka korchude kairingala manslau. Then one has to listen with an open mind to understand the thoughts being shared by the speaker. I'm not about the open minded item ready item or orale. We'll understand it better. Reading is vital to improve our listening skills. You know, reading is also very important because it's a it's you know one of the macro activities and all macro macro skills are actually connected to each other. Okay, all skills are connected to each other. That's one macro skill improve and the macro skill naturally it will also improve. Then listening to the language as often as you can familiarize you to the language it can be by listening to audio text or podcasts or it can be through watching movies without subtitles so you know what's the best way to learn a language is definitely listening to that language some way or the other you should be listening to the language so you are listening to this class now it's actually a way of improving your listening skill it's actually a way of making your macro skill better Okay, now summarize after each lecture. Now, after each lecture, you think, you know, what exactly was being said there and or should I revisit that lecture? Should I hear it once again and make, um, you know, try to understand it better? So these are some of the ways in which you can enhance your listening skills and the kind of maintaining eye contact and asking feedback questions, um, listening with an open mind reading, um, listening to language as often as we can, familiarizing after, summarizing after every lecture and so on. Okay, now um, after that, uh, this, um, we had looked at this area before, that is the difference between uh, listening and hearing. Then, Towards the end of this chapter, there is some vocabulary exercises given uh, in the textbook. Now, synonyms and antonyms definitely chodi kyan sadhi thonda. In that synonym, you already know. Synonym, 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 and the same meaning ana. Antonym and the varna opposite sana. Okay, so synonyms means same meaning. Antonyms means opposite meaning. So even as as I understand, synonym mana chodi chodi kena the. So kuchh words chodi the thonda. So word in the meaning also I have written a very simple words and I have tried to put it in a sentence. So the first word is boast. Boast means what? Brag. Hmm? What is the meaning of boast? Talk with excessive pride about one's achievement. You are boasting about something. You can sign it boast. You word sign it again. Okay? But we need to be in the mother word than either the camera and the animal. It can examine in the other. It will put them in the other. She boasted about her 
uh, about her many conquests okay Bo boast is means brag brag nu arnal self praise ok cheyo othri samsarikkana bragging nu arayunnathu adana boasting what is the example or word lit or sentence lit it under she she used uh, she bragged or boasted about her many conquests then eloquent eloquent means what valare nannayittu samsarikkunavare ekka nammal valare eloquent aanannu parayam eloquent means persuasive and expressive fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing nanna eloquent nu parayunnathu we can say that you know you know her eloquence was uh, very striking eloquence nu parana a capacity to speak very well um the or sentence read it under an eloquent speech okay the sentence i have put it here an eloquent speech next word is shrivel shrivel means what vaadi povuga nalladana shrivel in the meaning wither away or wrinkle vaadi karinju povu adana shrivel away ennu parayunnathu shrivel endana contract especially due to due to loss of moisture so the flowers simply shriveled away or shriveled up then pace pace ariyamallo speed rate swiftness a single step taken while walking and pace nu parayunnathu palappalum vere pala meanings lum pace ubayikkarundu nu cheyala the pace of the lecture nokka parayu avada nadakkunnadalla but in you know, the way something is progressing the speed of something progressing is also called pace so he stepped back a pace means one step adu pole verb we he uh, we paced up and down that is walking okay the pace of the lecture was uh, too much for us to understand like parnal speed ne kurichana pace nalla word avade use cheynathu okay then chronicle chronicle means record okay uh, a vast chronicle of spanish tragedy chronicles like a record a factual written account of important or historical events in the order of their occurrence i now record ne ana chronicle annu parayunnathu then territory or area T territory means area see very simple words are an area of land under the jurisdiction of a ruler is called territory okay indian territory nokka pare now rhyming words rhyming means what rhyming means kekumbam ad similar aayittu thonana okay poetry ilaga rhyming words ubayikkum it adds the beauty of the poem for instance take take in the rhyming word endana words that sound like take adana rhyming words nu parayunnathu okay so end rhyme anengile avas words in the ending pole um end in words okay so ivada nokike enganeyana rhyming words take take in the make bake cake okay the leave leave in the rhyming words heave grieve weave eve sound mount ground mount bow go no bro so wo kando idiyana rhyming words nu parayunnathu so idu pole rhyming aayittulla words ningale exam nu chodikkuvaanengil eduthana stray pay may ray lay adu pole walk talk sock block sense pens hence tens dusty rusty musty crusty gusty trusty etc okay so go through these words go through these words these are rhyming words now we look at the next exercise that is synonyms and antonyms okay so ore meaning ulla wordum adinde opposite wordum okay so same um, words with the same meaning are called synonyms and the words with different meaning or opposite meaning opposite meaning is antonyms it is equal to ana it is opposite meaning ana okay so heavy heavy is synonym and the bulky hefty weighty etc antonym that is opposite light return return the synonym and the same meaning synonym but come back antonym depart okay then distant synonym and then far off distant means far off antonym near sell to give something in return for money and then sell something in the other the sell in the opposite buy what are the simple words on a wrath anger okay antonym parne ningo opportunity that it antonym and then a wrath in the one anger on a antonym and then a peaceful something like that peaceful then lose to be deprived of adinde opposite gain 
opposite is antonym. Synonym is same meaning. Okay. Now towards the end of the chapter, they have asked to write an interview. One interview prepare Prepare an interview. So how do you prepare an interview? I have put a sample interview here. Interview with the famous sports person. Okay, Connie Fred, Fred Bone Varna. Sports person interview. I mean, the format in Okaga, Enginian interview with the dollar. So, Eddie, as we understand, is a person who is the interviewer. Okay, the person who is interviewing is Freddie, and Connie is, of course, the person uh, whose interview has appeared uh, maybe in a newspaper or in your college magazine or some somewhere. All right. So interview with the famous sports person. So any other questions about another? So here we are. Thank you so much for making time to do this interview. So Connie says no problem. So Eddie, get a condo. Eddie, Eddie, Connie, Eddie, Connie. All right, Eddie, uh, Connie, like that. About the Mari, Mariana, there another. All right. So um, Eddie and the other another. You probably know that I am Eddie Kudra and I come from Norway and that I am doing this interview as part of a project called a communist, a communist, which is all about collaboration between different schools in different countries. So Connie says I'm aware. So then let's start the interview. These first ones are easy. Can you give me your full name, your age and tell what spot it is that you do? My full name is Connie Fredbo. I'm 15 years old. I play football, that is soccer. How long have you been playing football? I have been playing for 10 years. How much time a week do you spend on playing football? I practice five times a week. We usually play for an hour and a half. What position do you play? I play what is called forward. What's the name of the club you play for? I play for Lingdal's local sports club, Ling, uh, then Lingdal, that is a Norwegian name. Well, it could be pronounced anything. I'm not sure. Eddie, how often do you compete in football matches? We compete when it's football season. There are usually around 20 matches being played during the season, which is held in April. How do you prepare for a match? I try to eat as healthy as possible before a match takes place. It's good to think, the, though, what you're going to do on the field before you do it. We have to get ready for the match, both physically and mentally, but relaxing is important too. What, um, what, do, you eat, uh, what do you usually eat before and after a football match? As I said earlier, eating healthy is essential. I only eat fruit before a match and the same after the match is done. I especially like bananas. Can you talk through your day before a match? Well, first I go to school, after that I go to home and relax. I arrive at the football stadium an hour and a half before the match starts. Then there's a meeting that lasts around half an hour. We use the remaining hour to practice. When out in the field, we try to do our best, of course. In the break, we get to hear from our trainer what we did right and what we should improve about our playing after the game is finished. I go back to relaxing again. Have you ever played football abroad? And if so, when? Yes, I have. And, you know, a lot of names are listed. You have probably brought uh, some awards or trophies. Would you mind showing them? Not at all. I brought a trophy and a diploma. See picture below. So there's a picture also. So this is actually, uh, you know, this is an interview that is there in this website. If you just, um, you know, search interview with a famous sports person, this comes up. Okay, it's, uh, this transcript is given. I think it's free. Anybody can use it. So you, um, the whole point is you can see that how this is done, how this interview is done and how it's written. Towards the end, uh, Eddie says, okay, I think we can leave it here and end the interview. Again, thank you so much for your time and good luck for your football career. And Connie says, thanks. All right. So this is how an interview should be written. So this is um, the interview of a sports person. Anything can come, you know, uh, an actress or somebody um, famous or somebody who won an award or a scientist. You know, um, it could be anything or an author hmm, or a philosopher. An interview with anybody could be asked, but this is a format of writing the interview. Now, this is an interview that I found online. The transcript is there and you can find numerous interviews uh, even by, you know, by news channels, but for academic purposes, purposes also there are interviews, um, you know, that you can find from certain free sources. The main thing is look at the format of the interview, how it's written. So Eddie here is an interviewer, all right, 
and uh, look at the way it's written here that's what's most important okay so it starts with eddie then um, connie who is uh, the person who is being interviewed all right so eddie connie angane angane mari mari verum and ask always right sensible questions and kind of um, you know a mixture of small answers and big answers so here you see she is only saying i'm aware or you know e, e questions like just just correct information mathre koduthittullo pshe tharotakke tharot you can see that there are uh, long answers see there are long answers here see what do you you know how do you prepare nakka chodikkumbo valli answers parayunnu when well, i first go to school then after after the after that i go home and relax see there is a big answer here so this is how you write an interview and always close an interview by uh, saying thanks nanni okka parnittu venam close cheyan i do say thanks and all this id ee padam internet la olla padam aanu ee transcript inde kude okay so that's how an interview is done so what are the things that we learned we learned what is a synonym and what is an antonym we learned what are rhyming sounds so similar sounds rhyming words rhyming words will have similar sounds but take make bake cake sound mount ground bow go no stray pay may ray lay angane so rhyming words with end end especially match cheyanam endil rhyming rhyming varunadana ezhudan parnirikkunnathu okay so sound nu parayumba mount ground bow go hmm dirt anne itta madi ground mount me edhiya madi ivide adana rhyming words nu parayunnathu nammal rhyming words padichu synonyms and antonyms namukku ariyam then we looked at the difference between um listening hearing and listening hmm adinte rendu name difference we had a look at it we also looked at the barriers to listening yeah barriers to listening remember we looked at the barriers to listening and we also looked how to enhance listening skills adu rendum nammal nokki pinne conducting interviews um you know how conducting interviews uh, and listening is connected and we looked at active listening and passive listening active listening nu parnana valare involved aayittu listen cheyyanaana active listening nu parayunnathu listening thanne adhiyam involved avade namukku cheyyam active listening nalla rendu type cues varum verbal and non verbal cues all right so active listening inda athu verbal cues varum and non verbal cues varum verbal cues nu parayum non verbal nu parna chirikya thale aati kanikya angane okay verbal nu parna feedback chodikya questions chodikya angane interact cheyinadana verbal cues nu parayunnathu so active listening will involve verbal and non verbal cues all right so um, that is the the, the next module so please uh, watch this video and read Uh, this note i'm sure it will be of help all right thank you